So you have a white mom that has, you know, a son, you know, she had one with a black man and you know, someone from her community went to basically attack her son and try to lie on her son. So she takes the TikTok to ask help from black women. Let's go ahead and roll that. An African American mother, I need your help, please. <laughs> Last night, my son was standing inside of the 7-Eleven in our hometown, like he does four or five times a week, when a white woman came in and decided to start screaming that my son was pulling a gun on her. My son was had been in the store before her. My son went to get his phone and some change out of his pocket to see how much money he had. And this woman decided to start screaming that my son was pulling a gun on her. And damn near got my son shot. Yeah, we've been here before. Yes, we have. Okay, but I don't know what to say. What do I say? What do I say to my 13 year old son when he looks at me with his big, beautiful brown eyes and says, why do they think that of me at 13? Why, what am I doing to make them think that of me? We know they're not doing anything. Please help me, please. Well, first of all, I don't know why you made this appeal to black women. I guess in your mind, they have black sons. so. You know, maybe they can help me with this situation, but lady, black women can't help you whatsoever. Black women have been fighting and dealing with the issue with your people. So really you shouldn't be approaching black women or appealing to black women. You should be approaching your people. We have been dealing with the issues of racism, white supremacy for a long time. You know, good and well, what goes on in your community. You know that. See, the biggest problem that I have, and I've said this before, is that having children with, you know, white women from the Caucasus Mountain white, that's what we're talking about. We're not talking about the pseudo white, that, you know, everybody white, you know, if you're an Arab, you're white. If you're Hispanic, you're white, everybody white. Okay. We already know that, right? And we know why they make sure to call everybody white because the sort of resources can funnel back to the white community. Right? So we call these other groups white. Then we, we make people think they're getting resources. They're really not getting resources. We keep putting it back into the white community. But they, what they try to do when they have those children with a black person, they try to move back to their lily white areas where they was going at, you know, and living before. And now they got this black kid and her people is still who they are. And the question I have on top of that is this, why is your son at the convenience store that many times a week hanging out in front of it? Why? His behind is be at home somewhere. If he needs some food or whatever the case may be, then you need to go to the store and buy it. Or he goes with you. See people with black sons will not allow their son to be hanging out in front of no convenience store four or five times a week. Why? I mean, only bums do stuff like that. Hang out in front of a convenience store. That's problem number one. Number two, you got a black son. You need to move out that lily white area that nine times out of 10 you live in and go insulate your area at least at minimum with a diverse area of people. What means that's a good amount of black people. They got white, they got Asian, they got Hispanic or whatever, right? I would tell you to go to more a predominantly black area, but I got to be realistic here dealing with you. So, go to an area where there's at least a good amount of black people in a diverse area. So he has a proper balance there because from what I've seen over the years is that when, when black people live in a lily white area, they're going to have more problems depending on the income level. Let me say that too. It also because the, the lower the income level, the more racism, the higher the income level, you know, you have less than the racism. Racism's still there, but they have a lot more to lose to be sitting up here and focusing on you. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. So black women can't help you. Brothers, another thing I need to say. 
if you're not going to stay with those women, we talking about the, the lily white women from the Caucasus mountain women. We talking about them. If you're not going to stay with them, don't impregnate them women. Because one thing I could tell you and what even I've heard from children that has had a black father and left with a white mother like that. Sometimes the children are screwed up. Just bottom line. So if you're not going to stay with them, then just don't impregnate them. I, I don't understand that whatsoever. But if you are a white mother or whatever other group of mother, you got a black child, whether you in your mind, sometimes some you say, oh, no, they're mixed. They're biracial in the system, of racism, white supremacy, they black. It don't matter what you think. And they're going to be treated as such. So if you got a black child, you say, okay, I got a black child, but the dad's not there anymore. What can I do? You need to, first of all, have a, try to have a relationship at least with his family. Cause not just because he's not around doesn't mean his family don't want to be around, right? To, to make sure they see their niece and nephew or the grandma, or grandpa, try to insulate yourself around the family. Have you some black friends that can instruct you? You need to, be, you need to insulate yourself around black people, not your own black people. Black people will put you on game. Hey, don't do this. Don't do that. Don't let that boy do that. They put you on game. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can't just have these kids. And a lot of times with some of y'all, y'all want these little kids, these little black kids and thinking they're so cute when you got them, but you're not dealing with the reality of what comes with those kids from your community, ma'am. That's a reality. Yeah. Once they're not cute, cute anymore and they actually grow up, then they, then you get to see how black men are the enemy. And it's been going on for over 500 years already. This is why I really don't support people do what they want, of course, but it's just more issues and problems when, you know, black folks and white folks get together in this society. It's more issues and problems. Not to say you couldn't do it, but just more issues and problems with that. Versus let's say that black person got with an Asian or that black person got with a Hispanic or an Arab or somebody like that, right? Is it, it could be it definitely could be issues for sure, but it won't be the issues that it is when it's black and white. That just be real with that. Hundred percent. So that's the only thing that I could really say about that with, with you is just, just follow what I say in this video and just pray and hope for the best, but don't let that boy be hanging out in no convenience store. I don't know why you, you looking for trouble with that, but y'all let me know what y'all think about this white mom and any black, you know, mothers out there that, you know, watching this, what's your position on this? Because, um, they, they had these babies with these men and they always come looking for y'all to help them.